I'm sure you hear this all the time. Nice guys finish last. You have to be the alpha bad boy to get the girl and so on and so on. I'm here to tell you, it's a load of shit. Yeah, you can be a nice guy and get beautiful women. Okay, I'm living proof of that. I've seen it for myself multiple, multiple times. You don't need to be this alpha bad boy. And everyone in the red pill space, manosphere, side of the internet, the advice, the generic advice is, you have to be the alpha. You have to be the bad boy to get the girls. Honestly, it's a load of nonsense, really. You can be a nice guy and get girls. And I tell you what, girls, generally speaking, don't really actually like bad boys. They like the drama that comes with the bad boy, you know, often. And yeah, there are some girls, there are girls out there that do like bad boys, okay? But they're not the type of guys, if you're, a, if you're a decent guy, you got anything about you, you don't want to be hanging around with those girls. They're not the girls you want to associate yourself with. Anyway, you want to avoid those women. Them women, they're broken women for the most part. There's a lot of really, really nice, beautiful women out there who really like a nice guy who likes to treat them well. Okay, but here's, here's where people get confused. There is, there is too nice. Okay, there is too nice, and this is where it leads into often simping, all right? The way you gotta do it, the way you gotta go about it is you be yourself, you be a nice guy, all right? You need some game along, go along with this, and often that game is a bit of teasing, yeah? Don't just always be like, wow, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're, you're incredible. Don't pedestalize the woman. Tease her a little bit, joke around with her. You know, let her know you're not so intimidated by her. Joke around that she's not so amazing or whatever, or whatever she's wearing looks a bit silly, whatever it is. Immediately that shows the girl that you're not pedestalizing her, that you're not uh, simping to her, right? And then the other thing is don't reward bad behavior. Don't chase, don't compliment her, even if she's acting shitty. If she's acting shitty, you know, set yourself your standards. Having standards as, as a man, having standards in, in what you want in a woman and how you want her to act, that's often quite attractive to women. And often guys that are too nice, right? They just, a girl will talk to them like shit, treat them like shit, show them some bad behavior, and they'll still be, you know, trying to be, trying to be nice, trying to tell them how great they are, still trying to chase them and so forth. If you come across a woman like that, either, you know, call it out or cut it off, okay? That's not, you being a bad boy or anything like that. That's just you like having, having some standards in, in, in someone you want to be with or you want to date or whatever it is. And so you should be doing all this stuff. You should be a nice guy. You should be complimenting a woman. You should be courteous. You should have manners. You should open the door for her. You should offer to pay the bill on at least on the first date and so forth. You should be a gentleman. Okay, and if, and if a girl doesn't like you for being a, a nice guy, a good guy, but who also has a little bit about them, who also won't tolerate bad behavior, is not gonna simp completely, yeah, who can tease a woman, if she's not into you for that, then okay, that's probably her loss, right? You two are just not gonna be compatible. It's probably not the type of, of woman you're gonna be compatible to. And I, I relate this back to myself because I remember uh, back, when I was like 22, 23, just before I moved to Cyprus, I met this girl and, you know, I was in my sort of playboy phase, you know, I was trying to just sleep with as many women as possible. And I met this girl, thought she was really nice, she was really attractive, she was really beautiful, took her out for a date. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to ignore this like playboy sort of thing, right? I, I kind of, I'd be willing to try to settle down with, with this girl. So I was more myself, which was more, much more of a nice guy, a little bit more of a nice guy than going out and trying to sleep with girls on, on, on a one night stand, you know, in a nightclub. So I was just trying to be a nice guy. I was trying to be myself. I was trying to be polite, giving it back to her a little bit as well, teasing her. Yeah, I know, I know the game. I still had the game. Thought the date went really well. Turns out she wasn't into it, right? She turned, t told her mate that I was just too nice. She wasn't what I expected. She thought I was gonna be a bit more of a, a bad boy and it kind of put her off. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, you know, we were never gonna be compatible. If I went in there and gave her this bad boy image, might have got her. Yeah, I might have got her to sleep with me. I might have got in a relationship with her, but she would have found me out sooner rather than later. And then she would have been disappointed, right? She would have realized that I put on a show. And that's 
not the way to start, certainly if you're trying to be with a girl, trying to start a, a, a foundation of a relationship predicated on, on being fake, right? Fast forward a year later, I meet who is my now wife, same situation. I was like, man, this girl's pretty cool. I'm gonna be the guy I am. I know I'm a nice guy, yeah? Guess what? You know, 11 years later, married, two kids. It worked out really, really well for me in that regards. And we're super compatible. Yeah, if, if, if you gotta think about it, guys. You gotta think, yes, the advice about being the alpha and the bad boy, you know, some of it can apply to certain girls. Right? But you don't need to be that. You don't need to be fake and portray yourself as someone you're not. If you are a nice guy, go forward with that. Lean into that. Be a nice guy, but have a little bit about it. Let tease a little bit. Have some standards. Have some self-respect. That's what it's about. Okay? And if you go with that, you're going to find there's a lot of women out there, a lot of beautiful women out there who really dig that. And you'll be compatible with those women instead of pretending to be someone you're not with one girl and she's into it until she finds out that you're not really about it. So that's my advice on that one, guys. What do you think? Let me know. Get commenting. If you're new to it, subscribe, like the video, comment, help me out and tune in for the next video.